What's up? It's your girl Marquita and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title, we're tapping into Grammys 2024. We're doing the good, the bad, and the ugly, baby. We're doing the best dress and the worst dress of Grammy 2024. As you can see, it was a lot of controversy surrounding the Grammys. Um, I mean, Killer Mike got arrested. They was trying to say Taylor Swift kind of snubbed our girl Celine Dion. I mean, Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice got mistakenly um, announced as the winners of the best rap hip hop song. So yeah, it was a lot going on with Grammys 2024, but we're about to get into these looks, you guys. So we're going to start off first. I'm going to insert the pictures right here to my left. You're right, I believe it should be. <laughs> but over here to my left, I'm going to be inserting the pictures. And we're going to start off with our girl, the, our girl, Coco Jones. So Coco was on one of my best dress for Grammy 2024, as you can see right here. She had the whole powder ice blue thing going on. She had the updo going on, the little body chain. And Coco Jones was wearing Celia Kithrati. So Celia Kithrati designed Coco Jones' look. Um, I just think they got it right with it. Looking at it, she has the nice big ring on. She has the body chain. It was just simple and elegant, and it was given what it needs to do. And guess what? Our girl won the Grammy for um, Best R&B Song for I See You. Y'all know everybody had um, I See You on replay. Had everybody in the chokehold last year. So shout out to Coco Jones. She's one of my best dress for the 2024 Grammys. Now, we're about to get into a worst dress over here. Doja Cat. Bitch, I said what I said. Yes. What is going on, Doja? You look dirty. I don't know what's going on. It's all the tattoos. Is the blonde hair going out with the black roots? Is the tattoo across your forehead? It's just the nude. You just get you're too hell for something like this doja is the new dress is the sheer you can see the tattoos is these terrible red shoes it's all wrong doja i don't know who your stylist was but it don't you you give off the vibe doja that you really don't care what nobody say you gonna wear whatever you want to wear anyway but I, I i'm telling you and I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't care about uh my little opinion but you look a mess doja you look a mess Doja is definitely going on my worst dress list. Um, she wore Delara is the name of the designer that designed this for, um, well, I don't believe she de designed it for um, Doja because when I went and looked on her Instagram page, um, I saw like models on the runway uh, wearing, a model on the runway wearing this look. So it's a no for me, Doja. I I don't know. It's, it's a no for me. That's what we're going to do. Um, coming in on my next best dress of the Grammys will be our girl, Victoria Monet. I put that on my mama, on my hood. I look fly. I look good. Yes, Victoria. You brought it. You brought it for the girls, baby. And you won three Grammys. And you won three Grammys, girl. Victoria looks so good. Victoria is wearing custom Versace. Yes, Donatella and them did they think with this one. She looks so good. My BFF said she wasn't really feeling the necklace, but I don't mind the necklace. I don't mind the necklace. Victoria looked it good. I'm about to insert a picture of her and her family. You know what I mean? They was looking good as a unit. I'm loving her husband's green suit. I'm telling you, they're, they're coming up I think I'm going to give them best dress couple because they slayed it all the way. Ten, tens, tens around the board. Yes, Victoria. But Victoria looks good. The color complements her well. Um, I, I love it. I love it. Victoria, you did your thing. You did your thing with this one. Um, Your team did their thing with this one, we're going to say. So kudos to Victoria Monet. Congratulations on those Grammys. You did that. You did that. 
coming in next on my worst dress list for Grammy 2024 is going to be Ice Spice. Why? Why Ice Spice? And you were nominated for a Grammy. Like, why? I got it. New York, Bronx. Why are you wearing baby fat, though? Why? Why are you wearing baby fat? I, I mean, I know it's the Grammys and everything like that, but you you were nominated. Like, if you had one, you was going on a stage and, and baby fat? Why? I just, not for here. Maybe the MTV Music Awards, Ice. Maybe that, but not the Grammys. No. Not the Grammys. Um, I'm just not, I'm looking at the picture on my phone. I'm just, MTV Awards, maybe BET Awards, but not the Grammys. No. I wasn't feeling it, Ice Spice. And then the hair, the little... Uh, orphan Annie hair. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she could have did, you know, a slick, a slick, sleek look, bust down, you know, 20, 30 inch. Even, I could even probably see a bob with this look. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, Ice Spice. It was a no for me. You don't look bad, but I just don't feel like it's Grammy worthy. I feel like this is a BET Awards look. Um, I feel like this may be, uh, MTV Awards look, but not the Grammys. No, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it at all. Going to one of my other best dresses of the night. I didn't even see her on the red carpet, but I saw her on Fashion Bomb Deli page. And, and let me just note that uh, most of my pictures, except for I believe one of them came from Fashion Bomb Deli's page. So, um, that's where I got most of these photographs from. So, you know, go check them out if you're, um, you're on Instagram, Fashion Bomb Deli page. Um, but I saw this picture on Fashion Bomb Deli page and yes, Miss Janelle Monet, you know, you love your black and white sis, but you're giving all the vibes. You're giving all classic Hollywood vibes with this black sequence number right here, girl. Yes, I love it. The hair, the dress is doing what it needs to do. And she's wearing Giorgio Armani. I love it. I love it, Janelle. Janelle just has such a pretty, like, angelic face. Like, she never does too much. She does just enough. And that's what I like about Janelle Monet. So, Janelle Monet came in as one of my best dress for the Grammys. Now we're going to get into... Another worst dress. Molly Cyrus. I can't do like a wrecking ball. What in the Jane Fonda is going on here? It The hair is all wrong. The shoes are giving Broadway dancer high heels on my tippies. No, Molly. Your team got it all the way wrong with this. I don't know what was going on. This is Mason Margella. Mason Margella um, is what Molly is wearing. Now, I like the dress itself. All the other components, the hair, the shoes, it was just all wrong. She could have wore a, a sleek ponytail. Uh, maybe her hair pushed back how it is, but... Just more sleek, like it's giving Jane Fonda. You know, it's just giving Jane Fonda in the 80s. I'm Jane right here. Molly Jane. It's it's not, it's it's not no Molly. This was all wrong. Oh my god. And then I saw you in your other dress later on. This hair, it did nothing for you but age you. You look like you almost 50 years old with it. I don't know who said this was a go, Molly, but this was a no, Molly. I don't know what you was doing. Molly is definitely on my worst dress because I, I I don't know where we was going with this look. She looked like an extra from the movie Dune. I don't know if y'all ever... I said I'm a little old, so I don't know if you've seen the movie Dune before, but no... Molly, this was a no. I don't know. I don't like it. This was wrong. It was all wrong. I don't I don't know what you did. It was all wrong. So, 
That's Molly. We just gonna leave her right there. But another best dress coming in is my girl, Summer Walker. Some, some. Yes, I love it. I love it, Summer Walker. Let me tell you, Summer Walker is my most played um, artist, and her albums are my most listened album on um, iTunes. When iTunes did the replay at the end of the year, yes, but Summer Walker. And I saw some people in the comments like, "Oh, she looks like shredded up coconuts," and "Oh, the hat is too much. She didn't need a hat." No, the hat was the moment. The hat was the statement piece. It's giving glamour. It's giving old Hollywood. I love it, Summer. You did that. You on your team? Y'all did that one. I love it. I love it. And the designer for Summer's dress is um Usama Ishte is the designer. Usama Ishte. It says that when I went on his Instagram, it says that he's um an American designer. So um yes. Usama Ishtay, you got this right, baby. I love it. And it says she was styled by EJ King. I ain't heard EJ King name in a minute, but yes, yes. Y'all got it right. I love it, Summer. She's just glowing. I'm glad she's just stepping into her soft girl era. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, we're going to go to another worst dress. Dawn Richards. Dawn Richards from Diddy Dirty Money, from Making the Band, Dawn Richards. Um, God, what is they name? What was the girl group name? Vanity Kane, Dawn Richards. Why did you show up with this contraption on? Why, Dawn? Met Gala, maybe. This is definitely giving Met Gala vibes. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Is looking like a tree in autumn. I, I don't, I don't know. Her, her, the designer for this dress is um, Kurt um, Kosrov. Kosrov is the name of the designer that designed this. And like I said, had this been a Met Gala and not the Grammys, I could understand it. Not for the Grammys, though. Not for the Grammys. I don't... And just, ooh, doing the Botox. You just went wrong with the plastic surgery. You look so old in age. You are very young. You look very old. This is just wrong. I honestly thought she was Doja Cat when I saw her. I didn't know what was going on with her face. I thought she was Doja Cat. The little eyebrows. It's a no for me, Dawn. It's a no. And the last person on my best dress list is going to go to Little Miss Mermaid, Holly Bailey. Now, okay, a lot of people said they didn't like Holly's wig. It is giving a little greasy, messy look. Um, I kind of know the look she was trying to go for. Kind of like a wet, tassel look, beachy type of vibe. Um, I believe Holly was going for right here. But the dress, girl, the dress is dressing. The body is bodying. The baby did your body good, baby girl, Holly. I love it. And Holly is wearing custom Gucci, baby. She looks amazing. I love it. I love the dress. I don't mind the hair. The hair looks good. I understand what they're saying, but I don't mind the hair here. Like, the jewelry is just very simplistic, and it just speaks for itself. I love it, Holly. You did that. I love it. I love it. It's definitely a good look. It was definitely a good look for you. Um, Very sexy. I can see she's coming into her own her own personality, her own thing. Because it's kind of hard when you're part of a group to kind of stand out and have your own personality. Um, but I definitely feel like Holly, you know, she's a mother now and she's growing into her own personality. And yes, I love it, Holly. You did that. I love it. So now that we've gone through my best and worst of the Grammy, I want to start this off with best dressed couple. Um, I went through the couples on the the... You know, on the timeline, and I know, you know, Holly and DDG came together. I did not like what DDG had on. I don't know. It's something about those big oversized shoes. Um, 
suits. I, I I wasn't really feeling it. But yes, the best dressed couple in my mind goes to Victoria Monet and her husband Lord. I got I don't know what her husband name is, but Victoria Monet and her husband, girl, the whole family unit. They did that. That olive suit and her Versace dress. It gave what it needed to give, and I love it. I love it. So the best dressed couple goes to Victoria Monet and her husband. Y'all did that. Y'all did that. Now, we're going to go for my best dressed female, in my opinion. To me, the best dressed female has to go to my girl, Summer Walker. I'm sorry, you guys. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. But I just felt like she gave everything. Everything was right about her. The hat. Um, she didn't have no jewelry fighting with the look. It just, it gave very angelic God's baby cherub. I don't know. I love it, Summer. Um, you know, some people hate it, but I loved it. So in my mind, um, Summer is getting the best dress words for the Grammy today. Because she brought it. She definitely, she just did something different. And I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, my worst dress. Even though Doja Cat looked at a dirty mess, I still got to give the worst dress to Molly because I, your hair, just everything. Miley. The hair just bothered me so much. It just aged you so much. The hair... It didn't match anything going on with the dress. The dress didn't match anything going on with the shoes. It just, it was a no for me. It was a big, fat no. <sighs> you know, it just was a no for me. So, you know, you guys, we've come to our end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Because when I was laying in the bed... Monday morning, waking up Monday morning, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a best and worst dress of the Grammys because I was going, you know, I was following everything online. I really didn't watch the Grammys because they really didn't have anybody that I wanted to really, you know, see or whatever like that. Um, See perform. I'm going to say see perform or anything like that. So I didn't, didn't. But I do love that Jay-Z came up there and read them for real. I do love that. I do love that. I love that. Um, you know, big shout out to Hope. He stood on business for Beyonce. And I appreciated that. But, you know, I did. Once I saw the dress, I was like, you know what? Let me do a best and worst dress of the Grammys. Um, you know, thank you guys for watching. I'm actually wearing a nice little sequence number. It's Carmen Mark Valvo. Valvo. It's a vintage piece that I have. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and until the next time.